What's going on, all you Star Wars movie maniacs out there, brother? Fat Samurai Guy is here with... Sexy Sumo! Oh, boy! <laughs> Steelbooks! Steelbooks! <laughs> and we just got out of the theater of Solo. Yeah! A Star Trek story. <laughs> now, there were... I, I thought it was about Spock. Spock Star, Star Trek. What I, thought, I thought it was Serenity. Uh, Serenity? Well, somebody said some Battlestar Galactica shit was up in oh, here, yeah. so I don't know what the fuck. I don't know what movie we just saw. No, I'm just kidding. You saw Battlestar Galactica Trek. <laughs> yes. Anyway, <laughs> on a serious note, we just got out of the theater of the newest side project yep. of uh, the Star Wars saga films uh, underneath Disney, Disney, and we loved and enjoyed uh, Rogue One. We enjoyed that a lot. That was, that was a, definitely a success. That was dope. I like yes. it. Yes. So, leading up to this film, the first two trailers were released for Solo, and he liked... You, you were impressed by the first two trailers. I liked what I saw, yes. Right. I The teaser, I was like, eh. The trailer, I mean, the actual full trailer, I, I kind of liked a little bit better because it kind of had a little bit of a Western mm -hmm. uh, vibe. For all you Firefly fans out there. <laughs> Firefly! <laughs> Brown coats! We, Firefly! We, we like it all. We like it all, okay? <laughs> anyway... So, um, it, it looked a little bit better, but my expectations were zero for this movie, guys. I mean, zero expectations. I was just hoping, fingers crossed, that it was at least entertaining. Mm -hmm. And I'm happy to say that's an entertaining movie. It was. Did you like it? I enjoyed it very much. Um, give them a quick plot synopsis rundown without any spoilers. Just a quick, brief synopsis of the film. Uh, start with uh, Han Solo. Where he originated from? As, uh, for, was it? What was that company called? Oh, don't ask me. I'm I'm, I'm terrible with oh, with names. <laughs> anyway, I like it all, but I, it, I'm horrible it, with names. It was like a protection slave trade company. Yes. And then uh, bad people doing bad things. He couldn't take it. He wanted freedom. Right. And he wanted to be a pilot really bad. Right. And he gets separated with his girl. Yep. And uh, for for all you guys know is Khaleesi from yeah. Game of Thrones. The Khaleesi. <laughs> yeah. The only thing that was missing was uh, nudity. There was nudity. Yeah, no nudity from the police. Not, not with Disney Star Wars, dog. Nah. We're not going to get no nudity. I know. I know. <laughs> well, anyway, he breaks free. Yep. His dream is to become a pilot. Yep. And then our, he, he, some, he somehow gets, you know, without any spoilers, gets thrown into the criminal smuggler world. Yep. Basically. And that's basically our film. There, yep. there really isn't anything complicated in the movie. Um, he found it entertaining, as did I. But... Entertainingly odd for me sums up the movie a little bit more, and 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 what I mean by entertainingly odd is that there are moments of this film where it doesn't feel like a Star Wars movie, no, at all, which is a good thing in a way, is a good thing. Yeah, but then, but then it does feel like a Star Wars film. Yeah, Rogue One has some of those nuances. In there, yes, right? yes. But like at one more one point, you're like, eh, it's not like a Star Wars movie, but yeah. it's still pretty damn good. Yeah. And then you get that Star Wars thrown in there. And you're like, whoa, and yeah, I love Star Wars. And right, love right. So you have, you have, you know, like like I said a couple seconds ago, moments where it didn't really feel like a Star Wars film, moments where it did feel like a Star Wars film. You're gonna, you're gonna see, you're gonna hear that soundtrack. You're gonna, you're gonna hear a few John William cues yep. for certain Real themes. Faint. Real yeah, faint. very, very faint, which is fun because it's nostalgia mm -hmm. nerds out there. So you guys will enjoy that. And then there were moments for me. This is just me. There were moments for me where the movie kind of borderline it on generic sci-fi film and i was getting a little worried yeah. i was getting a little concerned at some parts of the film because let's be honest i didn't give a shit about the fucking love story no i didn't really nobody care. really does <laughs> i did yeah. really care we yeah. cared a little bit for han and leia yeah we did care you know well, that's we, as far as it goes we grew to love them right that's called character arcs. Yes. Setting up the trilogy, setting up the stories yeah. with payoff. It took them three movies to right. get it on. Right, right, <laughs> to, get, to get it on. Yeah. But yeah, you're not you're not really gonna give a shit about the uh, the love story in this film. But the the, the CGI, the special effects were very yeah. well done. It was a lot for the budget of this movie. For it, it's not a huge, gigantic, the Last Jedi budget. It wasn't all CGI, which was cool because they had some yes. special effects. Good there. practical effects with the, the creatures with and the, the creatures, aliens yeah. and the especially the robots. Yeah, they took it old school. In that mm -hmm. Especially the, the female slash robot. Yeah, which we won't talk about anymore. Yeah, no, 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 <laughs> no yeah. spoilers. But um, but yeah, entertainingly odd. There are moments where, uh, for me, just it, it, dramatic scenes 
which didn't really work that great. And then there were moments where it did. Yeah. You know what I mean? A few dull ones. Yeah. So it was, it was, it's, it's odd. It's, it's a, it's a mixed hodgepodge of a film that shouldn't work. This movie should not exist. It shouldn't work. <laughs> it shouldn't work. <clears throat> In my opinion, it shouldn't work. But it did. Some nice cameos. Yeah. Yeah, you know, so that was fun. One of my favorite ones was, uh, uh, he usually makes cameos in everything. I don't know, would, it, would it be considered a spoiler? Yeah. Really? Uh, well, to the new generation, no, maybe they'll, uh, you know what, fuck it. Yeah. Here, yeah. here. Willow makes a cameo in this movie. Yeah. There. That was one. There you go. That was one. <laughs> what about the other one? Leprechaun Willow makes cameo. That's all we're going to say. Uh, What's the other one? The director's brother. The director's brother. Oh, yes! <laughs> yes! Yeah, his little cameo from Clint Howard. Yeah, that was always, hilarious. He's always putting his little brother in the movie. Clint, you gotta love Clint Howard. Give it up. Yeah, Give it up for Clint. <laughs> he's always but, a crazy But, yeah, I mean, I mean, if you think... You look at the movie from the outside and the context of it. When this was announced way back that they were going to make a Han Solo movie... Uh, going, to, going through a little bit of his origins and how he, yeah. met, how he met Chewie and all that... I'll be honest, I thought it was a really stupid-ass idea. Mm. That was my opinion. I was just like, really? Do we really need a Han Solo movie? Yeah, well, what you, did you think? Well, then you got guys like me that have a pea brain and just <laughs> like cool little things like that. And right. So you didn't mind it? I did not mind it. Right. I was looking forward to it a lot. Right. So you had the naysayer and you had the sayer, but look look, look at our, look at the result. Yeah. Right. That's right. Star Wars, right. Metallica. Yeah, <laughs> Look at the result. At the end of the day, we both came out entertained. Yeah, please. And I I have to recommend it to Star Wars fans. If you yeah. guys aren't doing anything this I weekend, see it. you know, if you're if you're got nothing to do and you want to revisit the world of Star Wars, yeah. the universe, Chewie was dope. Go go check it out. Chewie was definitely a lot of fun. Yes, he was. I, I enjoy Chewie, but when is when is Chewie not fun? Hey, well, he's always fun. <laughs> he's always he's always a lot of fun. Now, here's the big question. I, I know everyone's waiting for us to talk about. The big question is how did young Han Solo do? The act the the actor I can't remember his name right now. How did was his portrayal of the character? I think he actually captured the tone pretty well. Mm. You know, some of the catchphrases he would say. Right. It almost sounded like. Almost like Harrison Ford. Right. There was definitely... At first, I, like I said, I was concerned. You had that generic sci-fi B-movie level moments mm -hmm. throughout the film. And I was a little concerned because I was like, this guy's just generic. There's no charisma. Yeah. At first. At first. And then I started to see Harrison Ford a little bit. Yep. I saw the point. He did the point. He did the point. <laughs> and, then, and then his mannerisms, it, it was subtle, like mm -hmm. you said. And I started to see it, but then by the end of the movie... I came to enjoy uh, unexpectedly the actor's yeah, take so on the yeah. character. He did a pretty good yeah. job. Because, like you know, you have you know one of my favorite sci-fi action films out there, Looper. I thought uh, Joseph Joseph Gordon Levitt yeah. did a good job playing a young Bruce Willis with the mannerisms, and I had fun with that. But at, but at the end of the day, is he's just you know yeah, but then again, a guy with bootleg Bruce Willis makeup on, and he did he did what he could with the material. But with this one, but I I wasn't expecting to. Not really see Harrison Ford anymore by the end of the movie. Yeah, it was, it was I was fade away. But I was, you know, gro I grown to like his take on it by the end, and I was just like, okay, let me just watch his take. Let me just watch this actor do his thing. Yeah, and he, like I said, he he, he pulled it off really. Yeah, well. I I was surprised. Yeah. I was surprised. I really enjoyed it. Uh, Woody Harrelson was was perfectly casted. Yeah, he, he was, was good. good. He was really good. <laughs> and give it up for my boy Paul Bettany. Yeah, Paul that's Bettany, right. Vision. Great, great actor. He he was he he pretty much if he wanted to could outact everyone in the movie. Yeah, he was, <laughs> if he wanted to. I just kept picturing Vision the whole time. Vision. <laughs> Yes, yeah, yes. We same voice, same tone. Same voice, same tone. Well, he was a little more creepy with those eyes. Well, yeah, know? that was yeah. a visual though. Yeah, I'm talking yeah. about the voice and the tone. It was like, it was, yeah. it was just like watching Vision. Yeah, but it was fun. It was. It, he was good in the movie. Uh, action sequences. What did you think? Well, I feel bad because I kind of dozed off. Yeah, he, he, I had to. Now that wasn't because of the movie. No, I had to. I had to do this. No, that was from that was from working all night. <laughs> At least five times to get this guy <laughs> up, man. Right on, no sleep, and then it got really hot in the theater. So it I, was warm in there. What so, the fuck? Yeah, it's supposed so, to be cool. Like, what the hell? It felt like I was laying on a Wookiee, and I was <laughs> warm. 
<laughs> Under Wookie's lap. Yeah, and I was nuzzling, and it was, it was, uh, yeah, the Sandman got me, but I kept going in and out, but everything I kept seeing was yeah. awesome. Yeah, I made sure to get him up on the, uh, you know. The Kessel Run, I really liked that one. Yes, that was a good sequence. Yeah. Uh, the mon the Disney, Disneyland <laughs> monorail scene. No, oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was the Disneyland monorail. <laughs> But I actually liked that action sequence. It was a good one. Because it was long. It was long but still entertaining at the same time. Kept you at the edge of your seat. Yeah. That really that was like that was very well done. I enjoyed that. Um uh, but yeah, it's not a I wouldn't say this, you know, for Star Wars fans out there that are looking for a non-stop action thrill ride. No. It's definitely not not that. There is a basic story to be told. Uh at the end of the day, it's good guys versus bad guys, but there's a little bit of gray area in there, and that's where Han Solo's character, is, you know, kind of is. He's kind of gray. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Is he a hero? We're talking. We all know what happens. Yeah, in the future. Yeah, we all know where he. We all dies. know what happens. But we, in we this all know movie, he dies. You know? We all know <laughs> he dies. He dies. You ruined it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, but there is that gray area, and I kind of like that they kind of played around with that a little bit. Don't forget the Childish Gambino man. He was pretty good. Who? Childish Gambino. Oh, Mr. Glover. Yeah. Mr. Donald Glover? As uh, Lando Calrissian, man. I enjoyed his he take. He did a really good job. Yeah, he did. Now, did he do a good enough job to where he deserves his own movie? Mm. I'm going to say no. No. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. Because it seems like you're kind of wasting his character. But then again, Disney don't give a shit. They're going to make a backstory to him anyways. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. And then fools like us are going to go watch it anyways. So. <laughs> yes, we will. <laughs> we're, we're, we're Star Wars fans. But we're curious to see where the universe takes us. You have our main storyline with episode seven, eight, yep. and nine. Who knows what the fuck is going to happen in episode? Yep. The next one. Oh, but there was one uh, surprise guest that I don't want to give away either. There is a surprise oh, guest, but we're, we can't. We can't do it. We can't. I think that was really cool. Yeah, but, uh, it was unexpected. It was cool. Um, but yeah, we can't. We can't ruin it for you. No. But. Uh, there's nothing at the end of the credits. Yep, yeah, nope, nothing. At the end of the credits. <laughs> if you guys are wondering, I know it's not a Marvel we, movie. We sat there and read all the names. <laughs> but um, definitely entertainingly odd. Um, overall, it, it was it was a fun ride. I enjoyed it. Yeah. And uh, I I recommend it. Keep it what? Three point seven five stars. Yeah, three point seven out of five. Yep. Yeah. I think I'm a, I think I'm I'm there too. I'm still gonna buy it when it comes out on Blu-ray. Oh yeah, Steelbook, Steelbook. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think that's about right. Very uh, entertaining. It's not Rogue One level. It's uh, not Empire Strikes Back level. Yeah, Rogue One. But you got you got to go into this movie. You, look at the context, guys. You got to go into this movie with you know like like me, low expectations, just going expecting to just have a fun popcorn entertaining watch. Yep. And you will be pleasantly surprised. You summed so it up nicely. That's I crazy. recommend it, and uh, we give it three point seven out of five. Yep. Parsecs. Parsecs. <laughs> <laughs> whatever, the, whatever the fuck. See, like I said, huge fan. I'll buy the figures. I'll buy the games. I'll buy the movies, the statues, and all that shit. But when it comes to naming who the fuck that character is, I'm gonna be like, yeah, that's uh, Marfalum. It's Marfalum. Woo! Do you guys remember that name? Marfalump. Blump. <laughs> Yeah, I went back that far. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below if you guys remember where Marfa like, comes that, from. Like, that's what a Nerf Herder is. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. So let us know in the comments below what you guys thought of Solo, a Star Trek Battlestar, <laughs> Battlestar, <laughs> Battlestar Galactica, Firefly Bright Brown Coat V. Oh, Independence wow. Day. Yeah, we're, we're all over the place here. <laughs> yeah, let us know in the comments below uh, where you rank Solo, and what do you think about the future of more of these spin-off films? I, I say do it. Obviously, yeah, there, there, it there, there is a negative to it, obviously, because we're like, we're tired of Star Wars. Every year, it's going to be Star Wars, Star Wars, Star oh, I Wars. I never get tired of it. But there, it's, a, it's a universe. It is. You know, just like Marvel, just like DC. I don't even talk about Oh, DC. shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's another video for another time. Yeah, they're killing me right now. Anyway, we're going to move on. But yeah, it's it's a whole universe, the whole world. And I I love these departures and adventures with new characters um, and old. It's nice to see in the world because Yeah, in the world because you may not like the fucking main story, guys. No. 
You may be like episode seven suck. Episode eight, what the fuck happened? Exactly. I don't. I don't like this. Oh, let's watch this ragtag group of ragamuffins over here going adventures. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So you can look at it that way. There is a positive to this. But we talk too much, but it's fun. It is. <laughs> so let us know in the comments below where you rank all the Star Wars movies up till now. And uh, let us know if you like the film. Think, whoa, what oh, you got? oh okay. shit. I get one of these cool ass cups. Yeah. It's chewy. Cool ass. Chewy. I don't know what else. With, it is, this is, yeah, like I was saying earlier, this is actual quality. Yeah. Yes, it's not Top a notch. bootleg Del Taco cup we got going here. Yeah, they also got a solo cup, but. It's not a red solo cup, but it's, it's this solo cup. <laughs> We're not shills at all for Star Wars. No. <laughs> <laughs> for Star Trek, Battlestar Galactica. Oh man. Firefly. Why am, anyway. I a blank? Why am I drawing a blank right now? Come on, man. You just uh, me back. Anyway. Anyway, thanks again for watching. As always, you guys rock. Throw it up. Throw up the horns. <laughs> yeah, keep it metal. <laughs> keep it Star Wars and keep it metal. <laughs> I lost my hearing. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks again for watching. You guys rock. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Star Wars. Everything Star Wars. Nothing but Star Wars. <laughs> Peace out, guys. <laughs>